Greetings, fellow freedom lovers. I'm gonna ask you a question and then make a statement that's going to create an earthquake in your brain. Welcome the earthquake, I ask you to, because it just might help you with your next major epiphany that leads to your next major breakthrough in creating your own freedom and your own contributions for whatever the heck you wanna do. So here's the question. What do you think is the best way for you to achieve freedom so that you can make more contributions and give back more and all those kinds of things? Is it to become self-employed so that you don't need to work for a boss anymore and having a boss telling you what to do and all these other things? Most people think that's the best way. And it's not that they're right or they're wrong, but here's the part that's really going to mess you up <laughs> and then hopefully put you back together again if you keep listening. Most people, almost every single person who becomes self-employed, they actually become more of a prisoner and more enslaved by the dollar and taxes than people who still have a job. I bet you never thought you'd heard, you would ever hear that before. It's absolutely true. There are very few self-employed people that's creating any freedom for themselves. Very few. Most self-employed people they cannot get away from their work. If they do, their pay, their pay either completely goes away or it goes down drastically, or they have maybe some other people that might fill in for them, but it's just not gonna be the same. It's not gonna be as good. It could actually cost them. Not only they lose their paycheck, but this massive liability happens because whoever was covering for them made a mistake. They can't ever get away from it. They don't own a job so much as their job owns them. And then taxes. Most self-employed people actually pay higher taxes than people who are employed. And if you're self-employed with some financial literacy, the self-employed, the big business owners, even the little business owners get the majority of the tax breaks. But very few of them know how to get them. They're totally legal. They're permanent. The government incentivizes it. But very few people know about it. And most self-employed people they have this beautiful dream of freedom, and that resonates with me, it resonates with all of us, probably everybody watching this video, everyone who hasn't clicked off yet. So how do you create freedom and contribution? Well, it does start with being a business owner, but good grief, it's, it's not gonna end there. If you get the skills about some simple tax code concepts and how to build a passive income, then you've got it. Passive income, that's the key variable right there. That is the only income type that creates any freedom whatsoever. And that, after freedom of the mind, is a point of fact. Here's what it is. Here's the threshold for when you're free. When you build up an asset of your own personal resources that generates a passive income that exceeds all of your expenses, at that moment, you transition into being a free human being. Before that moment, you're a slave to the dollar. And you're probably paying higher taxes too. So research passive income. Become an expert at that. If you want to be free, that is like the number one thing you should be researching and becoming a master of generating passive income. That is it. That is the one thing. Very few people know about it. And very few people are open to learning about it because they think they know it all. They think because they've been there, done that, they haven't been to passive income, but they believe they've been there, done that, they've got all these experiences, all these hardships, and they've heard so many things, and maybe it didn't pan out the way they wanted, so now they just roll their eyes, and so many people are immune to learning something new now because it's disappointment after disappointment after disappointment. And maybe that's you. If you've, if you've experienced a disappointment after disappointment and things not turning out the way that you had hoped or that you thought they would be, don't become one of those people that becomes immune to learning something new and being corrected and recorrected and recorrected by maybe somebody that has more of what you want, like freedom. And that freedom comes from, after freedom of the mind, it comes from a passive income of one's own personal resources that exceeds all of their living expenses. And if they have a family, then all their family's living expenses. That is the only thing. If you don't have it, you ain't free. Even if you make $500 an hour, you're still stealing time away from yourself, away from your family, 
for that money. And it's over a job that somebody else owns that can be taken away from you at any time. That job that you don't own means you have no control over that job. And when you have no control over something, that equates to the highest risk possible on planet Earth. And what's the number one reason people have a job, usually? The most commonly cited reason. You always know an employee mindset when you hear one because they say, I want the security that a job offers, the stability of a paycheck, and uh, benefits and pensions and all that stuff. Security is an illusion. You were sold a pack of unforgivable, inexcusable lies. Not only is it not secure and it's a complete illusion, it is, there is nothing that's more insecure than a job. I don't care if you have a job working for the government or a company that has been around for a million years and not seeming to go anywhere. You have no control over that job. Somebody else does. They can take it from you at any time for any reason and there's nothing that you can do about it. And even if you have that job, you are still stealing time from yourself and from your family for a paycheck. And a paycheck is the most insidious pyramid scheme ever devised upon man. And most people defend it as a legitimate way to provide for their families. And it's complete BS. Now, having said that, if you love your job and your boss and the people you work with, you take pride in your work and your job fulfills you, that's awesome. Then build up a passive income on the side that exceeds your job income so that you are no longer needy for that paycheck from your job to support yourself and your family. Now you can have your job because you want your job. You love your job. You are not needy for your job. And now you've got security. Your job ain't giving you security. Your job has just pitted you in the most vulnerable place you can ever possibly be in. All the while you are sold by your education system and maybe your boss or your company that it's secure. And it's complete BS. It is an outright, inexcusable, unforgivable lie that your job is somehow even a modicum of security. It's not. <laughs> but having a passive income of your own personal resources is secure, so long as you make it secure. And that's up to you and how you learn, the skill set that you have, the emotional maturity that you have, the spiritual maturity that you have. And you can always become a spiritually and an emotionally mature person simply by Oh, I don't know. When you ask for things, maybe instead of asking for financial freedom, you can ask to become the person that can achieve financial freedom because now you're going to get the skill set and the emotional maturity and whatever else, whatever other equipping that you need to become the person that can achieve it. And most people, when they ask for things or they pray for things, they ask for the result. And that's really spiritually immature. I did that for all my life until a few years ago. Then I had this massive epiphany spiritually. I grew up spiritually. And instead of these entitlement prayers and these uh, entitlement asks of give me, give me, give me, no mention of becoming the person so that I could achieve these things. It was always give me, even though I'm becoming absolutely nothing to get these things. I mean, that's entitlement prayer, isn't it? I shifted big time from that to I need to become the person that can achieve these things. Whether it's health, wealth, fitness, contribution, giving back more, I want to become the person. I need to get the skill set so I can become the person. The emotional growing up and the spiritual growing up and any other equipping that I need to become the person. So start praying for and asking for becoming. That way you're secure. Let's say, God forbid, something happens. You build up that passive income, but I don't know, something happens, but you got the skill now because you became the person that could do it. You could do it again. Can you imagine if you had a, a passive income that covered all of your expenses, it just fell out of thin air, you became nothing to get it, and something happened to it. Now you're screwed because you didn't get the skills to become the person that could get it. Do you know what I mean? I hope that makes a lot of sense. I hope it does. If you got any value from this whatsoever, go to my website, fireyourboss.xyz, F-I-R-E-Y-O-U-R-B-O-S-S dot X, Y, Z. Cherry pick whatever you need from that to help you get to where you want to be. I've also got a profit training sequence. It's 30 days that I wrote to myself from what I've learned and how I did it. 
so that I could teach it. I backtracked what I did to create my first six figures, and it's passive now. So I'm not the college professor teaching how to do something, having never done it myself successfully in the real world. This entire course that I have, 30 Days to Profit, is basically how I backtracked what I did to actually do it so I could teach it. And if you want to have a conversation about that, I can share a video that I made first. And if the video looks good, we can talk more. And if it doesn't, then be on your way looking for the thing that does look good for you so that you can start building your passive income to create your freedom. That you've got to become that person that can build that passive income so that you can achieve that freedom. And then you've got real security and real safety. And you got freedom. And you're going to be able to give back more and contribute more and be more of a solution for the planet and the, the problems that it has that's killing our planet right now. We need a lot more of that, that's for sure. <sighs> Take care, everyone. Thanks for watching this whole video. I hope you got a lot out of it. I'll hear from, I suspect, quite a few of you real soon. Bye for now.